Janbra, I'm assuming that you must have seen the report that has been filed by Republic TV where we have got uh, key Khalistani leaders who have come on camera and uh, <laughs> they have admitted that people like Manjit Singh, GK, as well as General Bra, you would be the enemy always for the Khalistan, uh, Khalistani groups and the fact is that they would continue with the attacks. Well, I, I have all along been saying that this movement which is brewing abroad, particularly in Canada and UK, with its roots in Pakistan and certain other European countries also, is a very dangerous sign. These people are sitting in their lavish homes in Canada and UK, and they are um, not bothered about what's happening in India. They, are, they have no loyalty towards India, and as they have said, as uh, portrayed by you on TV, they have, they have no loyalties at all to India. They would like to see India broken up. So it is a very sad situation. And I blame the governments uh, abroad for allowing this to happen from their soil. It's happening from their soil where they are eschewing violence, terrorism, and anti-national activities against country like India a peace-loving country like India, and doing it openly in places like Trafalgar Square, Hyde Park, and other prominent spots in London. They should come down heavily on this, and our government should put some pressure on um, the UK government. As far as China is concerned, well, you know that China has a close affinity with Pakistan, and if Pakistan is going to support the Khalistan movement, well, so is China going to support them. So it's it's something which one expects to happen. General Brad, since you have seen the report, would you say that this is now hardcore evidence exposing the Khalistani leaders? Yeah, it is hardcore exposure because you've spoken to them, you've got it straight from their mouths, they've spoken it out. It's not hearsay, it's not imagination, so it's... it's, it's uh, uh, hard evidence, I think. How do you see uh, the next logical step in terms of what the current, what the government of uh, the current government could do, or for that matter, uh, even for international community to now stand mm -hmm. up and see that what they are basically doing, the cloak and dagger approach of the Khalistani group, all of which has now been exposed. Well, I think our government must use its diplomatic channels with all these countries uh, in whatever way they can to put pressure on them and say that this is not a thing which you should be supporting. It's something which you should be opposing because after all, this is a movement being carried out to break up a, 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 a country like us. It's, it's, to, it, it's issuing violence, it's promoting terrorism, and it should not be. Uh, supported by any of these nations. I think our country needs to have very diplomatically put across to them. Janbra, also, would you say that there is a tactic change as far as their entire modus operandi is concerned? Because from this investigation, what appears is that today they are, as they say, they're moving from being a predator to a scavenger. Isn't this a dangerous change in itself? Absolutely. You are absolutely right, Sharvan. It is a very dangerous trend. I agree with you. One final question, General Bra. When people like Paramjit Singh Pamma, who at least in the eyes of Indian authorities is an accused, uh, now comes out openly threatening uh, heroes like you, uh, does that bring in any element of fear or is there anything that you would like to tell all these anti-national forces who have been uh, you know, hatching conspiracies against people like you and several others who have been very vocal about this entire movement? Well, what can I tell them? Uh, they, uh, they wouldn't listen to anything. They, uh, their minds are blocked. It's like a horse running in a race with blinkers on. It, it runs the race without its eyes open, you know, and they, don't, they should know what they're doing. Okay, they're bragging about the fact that they've killed prime ministers, um, chief ministers, and generals. I suppose they're referring to Mrs. Gandhi, Beyond Singh, and General Vaidya. And they almost, they almost did it to me. It was just a question of uh, a very lucky escape. And I don't know um, why they're feeling so proud of these achievements against people 
who are honest citizens of this country and who have no political ties. I'm, I'm really very, very sad to see this whole affair.